Hello, this is Jim Smith at GAN Analysis LLC. You can find me at James Smith at GANanalysis.net if you want to send me an email. Um, today we're talking about WTI, CL spot is the ticker here, and we're going to look at a GAN fan. The question is, how do we decide the scale for the GAN fan? You can see here this thing appears to catch a high and a low but would another scale be better we're using a price unit of 0 0.1 and what that means is this middle line the one by one is descending at a rate of 0 0.1 points per trading day because we've chosen you could also do calendar days but we've here we have calendar days it changes things or trading days we've chosen trading days now it begs the question isn't this totally subjective if you can change the scale and get a different result well that's the critique of a lot of people who understand absolutely nothing about GAN uh, that they consider it subjective because the scale can be changed but the reality is what we're trying to do is find the rhythm of the market so this one cut a high and a low so maybe this is okay but maybe there's something better in this case we're using 0 0.15 instead of 0 0.1 and we get one two three four five six seven hits that's a little better so what i'm trying to tell you if there's a rhythm to the market and you're hitting the rhythm with these gan fans with these gan lines then then you know you have the right scale it's kind of like music you know when it's wrong you know you're off you're off but when you're right you're right so it's not that this is bulletproof the fact that you're finding resistance here doesn't mean you can't go up here but if you continue to fail at this level it sets up a likely near-term pullback so what we're trying to say is nothing is a hundred percent certain I'm not telling you to go out and sell WTI today. I'm not telling you to buy it. I'm just telling you what the GAN fan says. You got support here, resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance, and obviously a major support down here. Now, if you start to sell off after having failed at this one by two line, that would be kind of interesting and then what we would do at that point is look for other GAN support lines to verify that this thing is really turning down but that's for another discussion right now I just wanted to show you very simply that the GAN fan works it's just a matter of adjusting it to find out what is the correct uh, scale that's going to work obviously the more hits you have the better so it there is no right answer but if you do have a lot of hits, you're probably on to something. If you have fewer hits, like in this case, just one and two, using a scale of, you know, 0 0.1, then maybe that's not the best scale. Maybe it's better to use this scale, which is 0 0.15. So I hope this has been helpful. And... Uh, Again, the name is James Smith at GANanalysis.net. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a mail, uh, a message.